Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com, and in this video, I'm gonna show you my vlogging rig, which is essentially the camera, the lighting, and the microphone that I'm using to create these YouTube videos. And I've got it kind of dialed in a way that it all fits together. It's really compact, it's extremely lightweight, which makes it incredibly travel friendly. I've got a couple of speaking engagements coming up in Asia this fall and winter, and my goal has been to downsize my video equipment and my gear to pretty much as small as possible so it can fit in my backpack along with my clothes and minimize what I'm having to carry with me while still giving me that kind of production quality that I really desire. Now, when you're doing video, whether it's a vlog or just talking head videos like these, there's two main components aside from the video itself that really enhance and make your video pop, right? It's lighting and audio. Most people don't realize that when you feel, when you're watching a video, you're like, wow, that, that felt, that was really a good production. It's because they've taken time to dial in their audio and to dial in their lighting. Now, all of my talking head videos are shot on cell phones and that's exactly what I'm gonna show you here. So this is kind of a perfect cell phone vlogging rig once it's all together. I'm not only gonna show you the pieces, I'm gonna put it all together and show you how it fits together and all of the components that I'm using for this, you'll find a link in the description description that'll take you to an Amazon cart and it's got all of the different individual items I don't remember their exact model numbers and whatnot I'll give you what I remember off the top of my head but no the description will have the precise exact components that we're using so the first piece is and I've got it all in front of me here so if you see me look down and reach down I'm just grabbing them to show you the first piece is what's called a grip now a grip is something that's designed to hold the camera and you can kind of build off of it in order to create your rig right there's some grips that are very expensive being uh, they were kickstartered some can go up to $300 this thing I believe was under $50 it's made by Movo again links gonna be in the bottom and for the example I'm shooting on my Nexus S my Nexus 6P and for the example I'm gonna show you on my wife's iPhone SE and some of these parts are not iPhone friendly and some of them are iPhone friendly and I'll distinguish which is and which isn't um, so the first thing we do here is it's really simple this grip has a little spinner on top it's got a spring in it so I slide the phone in it and then I just simply tighten down on the top and what it does is it physically grips the phone and this is kind of designed to be able to be held. It gives you a better way to hold your camera. So if you're out walking around, you're taking shots, you can do it this way. And obviously you can do the selfie shot this way. And this added piece on the bottom adds a little bit of weight. It's just a better way of holding your camera versus the kind of like wobble cam this way. But that's not how I use that. This is just the starting point. The next piece that I add on to this is a little tripod, a flexible tripod. So this lower weighted portion unscrews and it has a tripod mount on the bottom. And this, if you saw my video where I was at Old Faithful doing the marketing lesson from Old Faithful, this is essentially the rig, how it was set up. And anytime I'm out walking around in nature taking a video, this is how it's set up. Now I use this Job or Joby mic, it's J-O-B-Y, it's a gorilla pod, you're probably familiar with it. It's a very common vlogger setup here and it's the good old uh, selfie shot, right? You kind of hold it out at arm's length, you really get a nice frame shot, you can keep an eye on what's going on behind you and for a lot of my videos that is enough. This also works and I use this the same way on a standard tripod, like I'm on a tripod right now. I'm using a Ravelli, which is kind of the Amazon cheapo special. I am gonna upgrade my tripod to something that's lighter weight and even more compact. I'm probably gonna go with a Manfrotto, but it's gonna be literally like 10 times as expensive. The Ravelli tripod, it's on the $20 tripod. This is about 30, 35. If I were to do this again, I would get the one that has a ball head so I can swivel the head and make it vertical but that's kind of another story. I'm gonna set the, the starting point to our rig down now and we're gonna talk about microphones because that's the next component that we need to take care of. And the first microphone, you've probably heard me talk about this one before, it's the iRig Mic Lav. 
Now this is a really simple lavalier microphone that plugs into the kind of earbud port in your camera, right? Into your cell phone. So I'm actually using it now. I'm gonna stand back and kind of get on my tippy toes and you can see it's right here. It's pinned onto my shirt. I usually pin it on just below the shot so it's out of the shot. But what it does is it really helps kind of limit the echo and it's a really simple setup. It does have a cable on it. So this is what I use. This is Android friendly. It works on Android. It's also iPhone friendly up through the iPhone 6 and 6s level the iphone 7 got rid of that little earbud port so if you're on an iphone 7 you got to use something different which i will show you in a quick minute here but this microphone i think is 35 dollars, and it's great for what it is for its price point it is outstanding it's not a professional level microphone but it is hundreds of times better than the standard cell phone audio and really being able to limit that and kind of control that audio takes your videos to the next level it performs really well in a slight breeze and in the wind as well i was pleasantly surprised with it it's what i'm using right now i'm in a very echoey room right now um, you probably get a little bit of the echo but if i unplugged it you would be like whoa you're in an echo chamber dude so controlling your audio is important now let's talk about the next one the i iPhone friendly one. This is made by Sure, and this is a new microphone. If you saw the episode on this channel where I interviewed my wife Melanie about social media marketing, this was the microphone that we are testing. Now, this is about a $200 microphone, if my memory serves me correctly. And Sure, if you're not familiar with Sure, Sure is an industry standard microphone for musicians. The Sure 58 XLR microphone has been used by singers and vocalists and rock stars for 30 plus years. It is the industry standard for musicians. So this is, you're really getting into kind of like super high quality professional stuff. Now, as we open it, you'll see it's a very nice and compact setup. And what I like about this one is it doesn't have a cable and it actually fits into the phone. Now it's got a big kind of fuzzy windscreen on it. I'm gonna take that off real quick. And you're gonna see that it is able to be kind of turned and angled. It's got two microphones, so it's got a left and a right. So it's really, really powerful for picking up great stereo kind of input. And you'll notice it's got a Apple lightning port on the bottom. So I'm gonna bring back in my rig and here's my rig. And I simply plug it into the lightning port here, snaps in and that's it. So one of the real, real benefits of this is that I'm now free from the microphone. And if I have other people around me, I'm able to kind of really get a great audio sound without being tied into it, which is pretty fantastic. Um, this microphone, I believe it is, um, like I said, about $200. This is the one that we tested. I'm using this for my podcasting when I'm doing just audio podcasting. We're also testing this for our, um, my wife and my business, we sell MP3s. And this is literally the new mic that we're using for that entire business. It, it is one of the top quality mics I've ever had. It was between this and a Rode, and I'm really thankful we went with this mic because it is fantastic. So at this point, we have one more component we have to dial in, and that is the lighting. And before I had two really tall lights that stood on their own separate tripods, which meant I had to carry not only two big lights, but also the tripods and the cords, et cetera. Now at this point, I have found a new light from the same manufacturer, and this is it. It is much smaller, much more compact. You can see it's very thin. I've got the battery on the back. The batteries are sold separately with this company. It's, I believe, 300 or 360 LED lights, and it is a really, really simple setup but it's really powerful at the same time. This thing can go blinding. I've got it set really low so you can kind of see it work. Um, this is not set full blast, but you can tell it really, even on a low setting is kind of really kind of mm, incredibly powerful. On the back, you can see when you turn it on, you can see that it's got this entire gauge. You have two different color temperatures. You just spin the dial to uh, increase and decrease it as you choose. And it's really, Getting the lighting dialed on your videos is really a way to get it to a professional level to where you really look great. And oftentimes when I'm out in nature, if you see my videos in nature, uh, it's the fact that I've got a light running that really is taking those shots to the next level because I'm illuminated. And then in the background, you can see all the nature illuminated. Both things get picked up the, by the camera really well. 
and that's what makes kind of a a professional looking production from a, a very standard simple um, cell phone so how does that work with the cell phone rig well it's actually pretty special um, the Movo has what's called a cold shoe on top of it and this is a cold shoe if you've ever seen on like DSLR cameras how they got the spot for the the microphone or the uh, lighting on top those are generally hot shoes which means they have power since this is a cold shoe it means there's no power so I simply slid that in and I tighten this down and at this point my rig is complete now I'm generally not going to be walking around with this it's a little bit heavy but it's not out of control I very well could I also like to set this on like I said a standard tripod so it's just standing up but this is the move you simply get it going you get your temperature and your lighting dialed and this is ultimately a professional level vlogging rig or YouTube marketing rig that will break down and fit in a backpack it's super lightweight it's really high quality it really makes your videos pop to that next level and this is exactly what i'm using uh, when i'm on my android phone which i'm on right now i don't use this mic i do use the irig mic lav uh, the light was probably about 75 dollars plus the cost of the battery um, the Movo kind of grip in the middle, I think was somewhere around the 30 to $50, 30 to 50 for this, uh, the microphone, the iRig is about 35. I think this was about 200. So you can kind of piece it together as you see fit for your particular needs. If you're on a budget, there is a really easy way to do this on a budget, but all in all, this is what I'm using. It's creating great results. The videos are coming out absolutely fantastic and it's amazing when you take just that little bit of time and energy to really kind of dial in your lighting and your audio that quality goes up to the next level and as a content creator myself I, honestly like when you're putting out videos that you like the quality of it just feels better you're more engaged you're more energetic with it um, I think this is a perfect digital nomad setup if you're someone who travels full-time like my wife and I do you know you're always kind of got mindful of how much space and how much weight am I taking up right so this is really the most compact and most professional rig setup that I've been able to come up with so that's it if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up here again you can find the, the different items of the specific items on Amazon in the link in the description if you're using different components or if you have questions of these components hit me in the comments below I'm happy to connect with you there and answer as best I can and if you think you've got a setup that's superior to this uh, let me know what you're using I'd love to take a look at your setup I've got a couple of months before I head over to Asia and if I need to fine-tune this at all I'm, I'm always interested in, in geeking out and my lighting and my mics and, and learning a little bit more about what you're using and I just hope this has been helpful for you it took me a long time and a lot of research to, to dial all these components together to really minimize the the space and the weight of this and I hope you found that to be helpful and if you have any questions let me know I look forward to connecting with you on the next video be well